played for Vancouver Whitecaps FC, Portland Timbers, DC United, FC Cincinnati, Almeric, and Phoenix Rises. This person also played for the Jamaica men's national team as a striker mainly. Also play as a right or a left winger. But the thing is, no one talks about him that much and he was the person that was bringing Jamaica in the past. He's still young at the age of 33 and is out of club at the moment however has the potential to be reselected who am i speaking about stick around and you will know forget the past the future will give you plenty to worry about. This is a popular quote by George Allen Sr. A lot of persons would say that the past is the past. Let's move on because the future is what we should be thinking about. But if you have a shaky past and you don't make ways to make your present and your future better what sense will that make let me just tell you something right now this player is our own one for which was well known and he's just like he never exists but before i give you details on such player let's have a reflection on some top names in football who went through the same thing. James Rodriguez, Alexis Sanchez, David Villa, Mario Goetze, and Mesut Ozil. These five names are top players, but they experienced the same thing as this Jamaican player. I mentioned earlier on that he's known for being a striker. He also can play as a left wing or a right winger. It's time for you to know who I'm speaking about. What has happened to the priceless gem for Jamaica? Did anyone realize or even recognize that Darren Mattox was a person I was talking about? The topic today on Premier 7 is about Darren Mattox, the forgotten gem of Jamaica football. Why do I choose this topic? I choose this topic because this guy was the man who brought Jamaica a mighty long way. Currently without a club, but this man could have been more than just the ordinary. He's currently 33 years of age, but I don't think that even though he may not be selected back for Jamaica men's national team, he should be shoved aside. And if that happens, then the continuation of the problems that Jamaica do have will continue to repeat itself. That is the reason why I made mention of the quote, the quote that said, forget the past, the future will give you plenty to worry about. And this was written by George Allen Cena. The reason for this quote is just to show us that we cannot just forget the past. Today on the channel, I want to speak about the flashback 
of Darren Mattox? What happened? Why is not playing for Jamaica? What can we learn from his situation? And then the show will be closed off. If you know Mattox when he was playing for Jamaica, there are some key things that we could remember about him. What stood out for me when I used to watch this guy was the fact that he had the pace. He had the finish. He had the flair. He had that connection to spectators who are huge football fans. He was that man that you could say, if Jamaica isn't scoring, he will be the person to contribute. He's not the type of person who will cause problems on the pitch. I don't know of that. I haven't seen him done something like that in the past. And also, he's that person who I believe was a team player. But he is forgotten. Mattox was a person who liked to dribble and make short passes. And you can see the reflection of him in which Jamaican player. Let me know what you think. Or let me know which player I'm speaking about. He reminds us of the current player right now in Bobby Reed. They are similar in terms of how they play. Every player have their weaknesses. And to me, discipline wasn't the problem with Mottox. Maybe passing was the main issue. But he was that guy that Jamaica relied heavily on to wave our flag. If you can even reflect on Mr. Mattox, don't you remember that he used to play alongside Hector, Mariapa, Makronov, Lawrence, and even our present captain in Andre Blake? This guy is the person that Jamaicans love to watch. And he was a person who also helped Jamaica to lift the Caribbean Cup against Trinidad and Tobago. Mattox was that person who scored a penalty for us in that game. Because the game went to extra time and it led to penalty shootouts. And we won the game. Even though Jamaica hasn't won the most Caribbean Cups, Trinidad has eight and we have six. But the fact that Mattox was a person who brought a lot of steam, a lot of benefits to Jamaica football. I spoke about the clubs by way of a hint before I even speak about the name of the person. And it is so sad that this guy is just pushed aside. No one remembers his name. The last time this guy played for Jamaica was in 2019. 2019. He played more than four years for the country. But the thing is about this person is that he played 50 games and scored. How many goals did he score? 18 goals. Do you want to see the listing of Jamaica's all time goal scorers? And then you think in your minds, and even let me know here by a comment, why this guy isn't in the squad. Maybe not now, but even before or after 2019. Mr. Mattox is the person. As I've mentioned in the topic of the video, the forgotten gem of Jamaica football. Before we even could speak about Shamar Nicholson being the main striker right now, and even bringing across foreign-based players like Demarai Gray, Mikel Antonio, this man, Mattox, was the man. Looking on the screen here, you're seeing... The all-time goal scorers for Jamaica. Our main was Luton Shelton. He was one of my favorites, but he passed. But the focus is on Darren Mattox. Number four. Luton Shelton is the man at top with 75 games covered. Right? Followed by Anandi Lowe, 75 games as well. Andy Williams, 100 games. 
Looking on the goals that they scored, 35 to Luton Shelton, 20 to Lowe, and 19 to Andy Williams. Mattox is one goal behind Williams. 50 games covered. Just imagine if he played 75 games. Similar to the first two names on the list. How many goals would he score? I am sure that he would have passed maybe all of them. That was how good Mattox was for Jamaica. So I have a comment here from 433 Presser. And he said that I was mad when Schaefer didn't start Mattox in the Mexico game when we played them in the Gold Cup Finals. Now you hit the nail right on the head. You hit the nail right on the head. The thing is, you know, I was in a barber shop watching that game and I was so upset as to why Winford Schaefer did not start our talisman because he was that man who was bringing the nation game in, game out. And if you want even to remember the goal that he scored against Mexico in that crucial game that I thought Jamaica could have won because we defeated the United States in the semifinals. I hope you guys remember, you know. I hope you guys remember. Remember the free kick that was scored by Barnes? Oh. So, look back on the goal that Mattox scored against Mexico. <laughs> I know that you guys have seen the goal. And we were 3 0 down. And he was put on way down in the second half. I believe that if Jamaica made the right decision, you know, Mattox would have started and we would have at least have a better chance. And as Mr. 433 Presser mentioned, he scored in that game as well. Thank you very much. People, Mattox in the Jamaica team, as I've said, maybe not now, but even a couple years after 2019, I think Jamaica would have higher rankings. Maybe he would have he even had the chance to qualify for the World Cup. This guy would have been an integral player in our team as a leader of the front line. You know, when we have leaders leading the front line, you know, based on experience, then the younger ones can learn and adapt. Remember, this guy was around at the time when we have young Nicholson, when we had players like the captain, as I've said before, in Mr. Blake, and they can tell you that Mattox was important to the team. People, I don't know how you guys feel right now about not seeing Mattox in the team. I think that Jamaica made a huge mistake. He's without a club right now. And will such thing continue? We cannot allow for a such thing to continue. And he was that type of player who did fairly well for teams in the MLS. And I can just give you a small example of one of the teams. In 2018, he did well. 25 games for DC United and scoring 10 goals. That is not an easy thing to do. And I'm sure that he did not play all the minutes for DC United. But come on, people. This guy should have received more caps for Jamaica. And this is the reason why I'm saying this now, because going forward, this topic should pull a few strings or let those persons in authority think about what happened in the past and prevent it from happening again. So many times we miss out on those players who we know can do more. I'm speaking about the fans. We miss out on them because we're not seeing them playing. But those in charge, they could have at least done something better 
for the country to survive a shipwreck. You get what I'm saying here? We don't want to be going through things like these again, you know. We cannot afford to have good players like such, and then, boom, he disappears. Matox is 33 years old and a member. I said that, and he's without a club. No, 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 man. This guy should have been treated better. Yes, he should have been treated better. And with that being said, you know, I want to even go into the next point. What happened? What happened to Darren Mattox? I don't think Angel was the main reason why he was absent from the national team. And I'm going to even prove to you or speak on the differences that persons can have when things is not going in their favor. I'm going to do a comparison and a contrast between himself and Leon Bailey. I don't want to speak much on Bailey. I'm giving him a break. And I think we need to give him a break as well. But I'm going to play a clip by Mattox and let you see why I am going to do such comparison. People who follow football in Jamaica, which almost all the country does, know that every time Darren step on the football field and give best effort, you know, whether I score or not. And the good thing is I score most of the times. So if there's a problem with me and the national team, I'm not aware of it. I don't know it. But as I said, like, you can ask any one of my teammates, like, they know um, when I'm in the national team, the hunger, the drive, the passion, the fight um, I bring to the table. Back then, I used to inquire, like, <clears throat> If I felt like they left me out of the squad, I used, to, I, used to, I used to inquire like, and you're not a part of the team, is there something wrong? So I used to inquire like, why? And um, they gave me answers. If I agree with it or not, I still got to respect it. But no, I, I don't inquire. All right. That was some information that we should have heard last time when they did it in the, in the past. And if you didn't remember about it, then you remember about it. No. I am sure you saw two players that represented Jamaica in the CONCACAF Nations League semifinals in that clip with Mattox. I am sure you saw Hector and Damian Law. These guys were around when Mattox was the main man. <laughs> All right. So let's do the comparison between himself and Bailey. Let's start off with the comparisons. I don't want to contrast as yet. Both of them, like in Mattox time and now, were the men. Both of them played forward for Jamaica. Yes, Bailey played more so on the left or the right. Mattox played as a, like a center forward, but he can play on either hand. Those are the similarities, right? Two of them come from Jamaica. Like born and grow in Jamaica, not to say they have other European or other countries descent. So three things I mentioned that are similar. Now, I want to show you something different now between Mattox and Bailey. And I am saying I'm giving Bailey a break, but I am speaking directly now to those who are in authority. And do not make the same mistake. Those in charge, I am pleading. Do not make the same mistake. The difference between Mattox and Bailey, at the time when Mattox was doing that interview, based on his history for playing for Jamaica, he was performing. He was scoring goals. 50 games, 18 goals. Remember that part. 50 games, 18 goals. All right? For Bailey, he mm -mm, not performing as to how we wanted for him to perform. Right? And that is something for which I, on myself, personally, will say, okay, Bailey had rough patches for Jamaica. We're not going to cuss Bailey because I want for him to come back. Right? And I don't want for a person to say, Bailey should never come back. We need him back. Because he has done a lot. Irrespective of the interview that was being done. No, another difference is the interview. Mattox, he talked about the fact that he wasn't given that chance to play. 
He used to inquire about it, but he also mentioned that if they say no, like, me don't want to play for the team, what he did not do is to come out and speak in an aggressive and unprofessional way. Right? That is because he had a better management of his emotions. Good. Bailey did not do everything professional. He did a good interview though, but his feelings the best of him because he was, you know, taking himself out of the group and saying that, basically saying that I am the man. I don't like all the quotes X, Y, and Z. But I said it was based on emotions. He felt away. No, that was indisciplined by Bailey, but that was professional. Or not indisciplined by Mr. Mattox. But guess what? The two of them now play for Jamaica right now. The past is that Mattox, even presently, I don't think he will be given another chance to play for Jamaica. I don't know why, but I think he should have been given a better shot. And I'm speaking this because I am hurt by the fact that this guy wasn't given more chances. But Bailey is still a young player for Jamaica. And even though the differences and the comparisons are reflected in what I said about the two players, Mattox is the past, as what we would say, but Bailey is the present. Remember the quote, you know. Remember the quote. Again, let me repeat. And I'm going to do something thereafter to say what can be learned from Darren Dimitri Mattox situation. Remember now, the quote by Mr. Greg Allen Sr. Forget the past. The future will give you plenty to worry about, JFF. This goes for you. I respect you all. Whether I'm a no -no or I don't know, -no. I will keep things professional and I will respect you because you are the ones in authority. But I'm not going to say that I want to see the past being reflected, right? I want for you all in the administration to reflect, see where the mistakes were made. Remember, I know, you persons in our authority are the big guns. You're the top of the table. You're like the tribal chief, like Roman Reigns. <laughs> you cannot allow for a, a Mattox situation or past to come and affect our current team in Jamaica. JFF. Do not let the past of what happened to Mr. Mattox, because I don't know what really happened, and Jamaica don't know what really happened. Only those who are close would know. We don't want to see such happening again. I think that is a case of if Bailey is not returning to the Jamaica team and our team goes backwards and fail to even impress in the Copa America, World Cup qualifiers especially, then something has to change there because it don't make no sense to go back in. You know? We have to go forward. Forward, 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 forward. We want to go to the World Cup. So, do not let the past affect us. If Bailey don't want to give an apology, or if he does apologize, then let's see how things will go. But the greatest thing is that we don't want for a country, football, to be a one-man show because it was somewhat of a one-man show when we had Mattox in the past as well, you know. He was a dominant striker, you know, or the dominant winger. Some persons may say he wasn't the only man that was contributing, but goal-wise, he was the main, alongside Mr. Bowser. But we need for Jamaica to go forward. It's not a one-man show now, because that one competition that we finished third in, the CONCACAF Nations League semifinals, I'm telling you, JFF, build up on that. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. People who follow football in Jamaica, which almost all the country does, know that every time Darren step on the football field, he give best effort, you know, whether I score or not. And the good thing is I score most of the times. So if there's a problem with me and the national team, I'm not aware of it, I don't know it. But as I said, like, 
you can ask anyone of my teammates, like they know um, when I'm in the national team, the hunger, the drive, the passion, the fight um, I bring to the table. Back then, I used to inquire, like <clears throat> if I felt like they left me out of the squad, I used to, I used to, I used to inquire, like, and you're not a part of the team, is there something wrong? So I used to inquire, like, why? And um, they gave me an answer if I agree with it or not. I still gotta respect it, but no, I, I don't inquire.